Hey everybody, how's it going? So, yes, it's true. You probably knew this already, but uh, I'm going to tell you. Anyways, I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. I am. I've uh, been listening to Pink Floyd for a long time, long time. I remember when uh, The Wall came out and I was uh, learning bass guitar. I was like in the 10th grade or something and uh, I was trying to figure it out. I play by ear, so I remember sitting in my living room with the record and I was learning some of the songs, uh, you know, uh, just, you know, you know, you know, I wasn't that into it. I was like, I was a little disappointed after like, uh, dark side of the moon and, and, uh, animals. But now it's like the wall is probably one. I can't decide. It's like dark side of the moon or the wall. <clears throat> I don't know. It flip flops as my favorite pink Floyd, but there's a lot of pink Floyd. I've never listened to a lot. Not only after, because um, when the final cut came out, which is the album after The Wall, I was a little disappointed in that one uh, as well. And and I tried and I tried and I tried and couldn't get into it. But then I over, over recent recent times, like the last year, I revisited it a couple of times. A buddy at work would say, no, I like it. I like it. I'm like, really? I thought it sucked. Um and, you know, I guess I remember it more fondly. Um, and then after that, I, a lot of it, I've, I've heard some of the hits, but I haven't really heard the albums. So when I say I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, I'm a big Pink Floyd fan for, a, <laughs> for the major, big, huge hit albums. But uh, I have never, ever listened to like the very first Pink Floyd album. Uh, the Piper at the Gates of Dawn with Sid Barrett. I mean, I know the story. I've seen the, uh, I've seen the uh, documentaries about you know Sid and and him kind of having some mental trouble, and then it seems it was exasperated by drug usage, and then just sort of just you know not able to perform basically, just standing on stage and and not playing at big televised events and whatnot and uh so that's when uh the uh their buddy came in uh, david gilmore to kind of take over and they just never picked him back up for a gig and and they got david gilmore instead and the rest is history uh but i don't know these songs uh i've heard of um i've heard of uh c emily play is that even on that very first album i'm not even sure uh let's see no, that's not even on this album. See Emily play. Isn't that, that's, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. I think that's what I remember. So that's not even on this album. So I'm not sure what album that's on, but this is Piper at the gates of dawn. And I'm just going to play the very first song, which looks like it's the most popular. And sometimes it's the most popular because it's the first song, but there's also a pretty popular one called interstellar overdrive. That's got like, 13 million views all, all of them have like a, over 2 million view, views some of them more but uh, astronomy domine has for almost 15 million and uh, we're going to check it out that's just that's just the final verdict we're going to we're going to finally get to it and let's see what it's like all right so here we go astronomy Astronomy, Domine, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett. You guys may have heard this already, but I haven't. Which is what the channel's all about, basically. <laughs> now that I think about it. The quality of the recording sounds really good in the headphones. There's a lot of separation.
Okay, wow, that was different. Uh, not sure what I was expecting, but probably not that. <laughs> uh, that was cool though. Um, that was Pink Floyd. That's kind of hard to, I was trying to wrap my head around that being Pink Floyd, but uh, I'll have to get into the album more to see what the similarities are. I mean, I've heard through the documentaries, um, you know, and in those documentaries, they have little snippets of the music, but I didn't recognize anything in that. So I might not have even, because I'm not familiar with it. I'm, it just might've just passed right by me. Um, but, uh, you know, they say it's different and they've, you know, started finding their voice later on down the line after a couple of albums. Um, but that was interesting. Uh, it sounded good in the headphones. I liked it. Um, it was just trippy. Just kind of like psychedelic, I guess. Uh, I was trying to pick out like uh, the voices, you know, uh, to see if I can recognize anybody. But they were so young, too. People's voices when they're young, you know, sound so different than when they're older. And even when they get into their mid 20s and 30s, you know, when they were having a lot of success, their voices were a lot different. But, uh, Wow. And they were they were like pl playing on TV in, in Europe and stuff and uh, successful. Uh, that's interesting. That, that's I think that uh, what was it? 1967 that was released. Uh, yeah. 1967. And uh, dang, you know what? This is um, a really long album, too. Oh, no, it's 40. It's 11 songs. It's 41 minutes, almost 42. It's not that long. If I was reading it wrong for a second. Okay, so there we go. Pink Floyd, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, uh, Astronomy Domine. <laughs> Can't even remember. I'm so unfamiliar. All right, let me know what you think. Are you guys uh, fans of Pink Floyd? Uh, are you guys familiar with the whole story with Sid Barrett and all that? Probably. I mean, if you're a rock and roll fan. You probably are if you you know if you're young or you never got into Pink Floyd you might not know all the story but uh, it's pretty fascinating uh, there's documentaries on YouTube and stuff it's kind of an interesting little thing to get into but uh, great cool well uh, let me know if you want to explore this album anymore if it's worth it or not I might do that other popular song uh, whatever it was it was called uh, Interstellar Overdrive since that one was pretty popular, I might check that one out too. But uh, let me know what you think about this uh, album and Pink Floyd and uh, any cool stories you might have about them. And we will catch you guys in the comment section. We'll see you down there and we'll have a little conversation, conversation, conversation about it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.